Hi, it's Matt from Excel Pro PC, and the story behind today's video is because I recently found out that my brother has a YouTube channel where he does his Minecraft channel. Um, he has a Minecraft server, so he's been putting up some YouTube videos where he uh, he shows people how to uh, basically all around his server, um, all about the Minecraft settings, etc., etc. That he has. Uh, I came across one of his videos though, and the the sound was was very 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 quiet on it. So I, I asked him to send me his video, and I will put the audio um, up to a, a reasonable volume um, because that is one of my background. Uh, my one of my backgrounds is in audio production, so I offered to do that for him. Uh, just you know. So that uh, so that that video could be better, um, but what I thought would also be useful is if I did a video on how to increase your volume in your YouTube videos where you've already recorded it, the volume isn't isn't on loud enough, and you don't want to go back and actually reshoot the video. You just want to put the volume up in the video. Um, this is through a process that we call either normalization or through also compression as well so what i want to actually show you today is how to how you can do that uh, using free programs that you can download from the internet uh, these are all legitimate free programs um, that you can download that it's not it's not paid versions that you uh, that we're getting in a dodgy sort of fashion so let me let me show you uh, first off, what we're going to do, we are going to open, oh, I can just see it there now, Movie Player. So this is a free download from Microsoft. If you've got Windows 7, you, I think you should hopefully have that already, but I'll put the link to it anyway. Um, this is something that comes free you can download it from the microsoft store or website as i say i'll put a link i can't be bothered to go through the installation process here um i'm a bit too lazy it's the end of the day i can't be bothered <laughs> i'll just put the link in the description or maybe it'll flash up on the screen or something like that um right okay so uh, let me just load uh so yeah 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 we'll, we'll start a new project now we'll just load something in. Uh, um, this one we'll do here. This is the raw footage for my World Pay Fraud video. So it might just take a bit of time for that to load up. Or not, as the case may be. Seems to have loaded it all up fine. And you just see there, there are some little lumps there. That that's actually the the audio from this video. You can just see in the background there. So let's say that the audio in this video is is not great. It's really quiet. So what I'm going to do is go to this option here, save movie. Now, as you can see here, I've set up some. A recent setting there which is audio only let's go down and right to the bottom there's actually an audio only setting there so this will output it to wherever you want to put it mine's going to my dropbox uh, you can name it whatever you want and the best option for this, for saving this audio file is a WMA file. So I don't need to do that, but uh, you can just save that off as a WMA file. Click save and that will save it wherever you want. So the reason we need to export it from Movie Maker, Microsoft Movie Maker, is because there are no audio editing options really within this program. There is no option to normalize. There is no option to compress your audio, which would make it louder. So we need to actually export it. This is why we're doing the export. I probably didn't explain that properly enough why I was doing that. 
Um, but yeah, the the reason is that we we can't uh, manipulate the audio within this, so we need to export it. So that file is saved off there. Uh, the next program that I need to open is Fubar. Which will open on my other monitor, just to be a pain. Uh, let's drag it over here. So, <clears throat> what we need to do once... I'll, again, I, what I will do, I will put the... I'm going to put the, the link to this program in the description, or a link should maybe... might be flashing up on screen now. Uh, depends how I do it. So, what we want to do is open the audio file because we again we need to the the program that we're going to use isn't going to open a M, m4a audio file so we actually need to uh where is it videos So yeah, we, we actually need to use FUBAR to make this file into, into a WAV file. So let's... That's my raw audio file from this, from this film, from this video. Let's just open that. Okay, then we're going to... Oh, be quiet. Right, right click on that. And we're going to convert that. We're going to do a quick convert, and we'd want to go to this here, which is WAV. We want to save it as a WAV file, and just leave everything as OK. Convert. So I've already done that. As you can see, I've already uh, trialed <laughs> doing this, so I don't look stupid when I uh, when I come to uh, do it for you on screen. And right, the next program that we're going to be opening up is the actual file is the actual program that we need to manipulate the audio in the file <clears throat> so this program is called audacity and it's a really good freeware audio manipulation utility very good if you just sort of if you've got a few files that you need to to edit uh, in a very sort of basic manner um, personally, I, I don't use this program for my video manipulation, my uh, my audio manipulation. Um, I do have actually have a full version of Cubase here, which I use. I'm used to Cubase. I know how it works, so that is the that is a pro my go to program, as it were. So let's open that up. Um, we'll go file open. In fact, I could just go on my recent files because I know I should have opened this. We'll pay fraud raw wav. <coughs> so it's going to open the program. You'll see that this is fairly quiet. You know, there's not a lot of. It, it doesn't take up the full width of this this grey bar, and that means that it is quiet. So the first thing that I would do if I was going to, if I wanted this volume to be louder. In just in general, we need to normalize the audio. So I would go to Effect, and down here, it's put in alphabetical order. Just go to Normalize. And you should be able to just you leave those settings how they are. Click OK. And what you will notice is that those blue lines will get a lot bigger, filling up more of the, the grey. <coughs> there, so there you go. And that, that basically tells us that it has been normalized. And the, the volume of this will be a hell of a lot louder than what it was when we first put it into here. Now there is a second option that we can do. If, for instance, we have quieter parts of the audio. Um, say I was whispering into the microphone in one part and then I was absolutely shouting my head off in another for whatever reason, maybe I'm just being angry. Um, what we might want to do is make all of that audio the the same volume across the video. 
So this might not be for everyone, maybe some people will like uh, sections that are quiet and sections that are louder. Generally, you want to get an even, an even keel as it were, you want it even, uh, an even volume all the way through. So the next thing that we're going to do, this is where the, the compressor comes in. So we went to effects and drop down into compressor. So if you're, if you're not familiar with compressor, with what a compressor does, this is what a compressor does. It will try and normal, you know, it will try and get all of you, the volumes of you, of this wave file into, into a set uh, volume. So it will raise up quiet bits. It will compress. It will, it will make louder bits a bit quieter so that it's all generally about the same volume. Um, you're going to need to experiment with these. I mean, your attack time for, for, Audio should be right down there, your release time. It's going to depend on how you're talking and it's going to depend on, you know, the, the different volumes that are available in this audio file. But generally, you, what I would do is try and preview your, your audio file via this preview button here. And make sure that it's, it's all, it all sounds the same volume, it's, it's getting everything. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into this. You can. There's probably loads of YouTube videos on compressors. Um, I, I think for the for the level at what we're going for, have a play. Uh, you know, see what it does, and that should be that should be okay for you. You know, I I, I think above sort of normalizing everything. You know. This has done quite a good job. I, I speak on quite a even keel most of the time. I mean, you'll see little odd bits like that there, which uh, obviously where I, I've probably clicked, or you know, there's been a, a plosive maybe where I haven't used the pop filter, and you might want to just get rid of those little bits like that. Um, so you just select it. Effect, and uh, there should be something called silence here. Trust me, I've gone off topic, and what I want isn't here. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's actually in the generate one. You can generate silence there, and that will silence those little pops or clicks that you. Ah, no, that's not it. Yes, that was it, wasn't it? Let me just do that again. Make sure I'm not telling you a load of porkies. So yeah, that will generate silence. Um, silence any pops or clicks there. So, right then. Once that's done, we need to save. Or even export it. Export the audio. Uh, make sure you've got it into a WAV file again. And now we can go, once once this, is, this audio file has all been normalised, then it's all been compressed as, as much as we want it to. You should be able to obviously hear a, a noticeable difference between the volume levels from what you first put into here and what you've taken out. So we go back to our movie maker. And now we can import that WAV file back in. So we go on record narration, which is just a little button there. And we actually want to add sound because we're getting it in from a, from a file. It's not from, we're not actually recording it live. Uh, well, so I've normally called my mixed files, blah, 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 mixed, just so I know which ones they are and which ones are the raw files. So let's get that one in import it into the file and you can see that is a lot seems a lot better than what uh, what what the original audio was so the only problem here will be that we have two audio streams running we'll have the original audio from the video and we'll also have the narration one as well what we need to do is mute the original audio so 
<coughs> there's two little buttons here. There's a green one here called Video Tools. And we need to go to Video Volume. And we need to put that right down to Muted. And we can also go to the Narration Tools, Narration Volume. We can put that right up. Simple. <coughs> so, again, play through your video. Make sure that you're happy with the volume levels. Make sure there's not been no corruption. Um, with your audio, make sure it's all right. Make sure that your audio syncs up to if you've got a if it's a picture of you narrating it. Make sure that your audio is, you know, you can hear it at the same time as you're speaking, at the same time as your mouth moves. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to have problems. I mean, there are options here on the narration tools. You can set start points and and start times for your for the audio file that you've put into this. So you should be able to get that to, to, to sync up. To your uh, to your vocal movements. Uh, I mean, this, this looks a bit weird. It doesn't look synced correctly. But uh, that doesn't matter. I don't need to do that at this time. And then we can literally just go and export your movie. Save the movie and use whatever format you do. I'm recording at a 720, I normally export mine at 720p. Uh, you might have a higher quality video. Um, 720p is just because of the limitations of this webcam that I'm using at the minute, but hopefully I'm gonna be doing it at 1080p, maybe in the future. <laughs> I will get a, an even higher 4K resolution. But this is, uh, the, you know, this, this system should work for you. Uh, I hope this helps in improving your YouTube videos. Uh, please comment or like the video if it's helped you. And that's all for now. And hopefully my brother's watching this as well. <laughs> so I don't have to do the work for him. So thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.